They said he doesn't have enough. They said he's down. They said he's the underdog. And he pulls through again. Charles Oliveira not only beats, but finishes Benil Dariush in the first round. Too much power. Charles Oliveira stuns Darius with a blocked head kick after throwing the right straight. This is actually a combo that you were seeing routinely throughout the night with other fighters. Charles Oliveira brought it to the main stage. Right straight into a right high kick. This is the same side combo that Wonderboy and Robert Whitaker made famous for the UFC. They're throwing their right straight forward, getting the opponent to react to that punch, which naturally opens them up for the head kick on that same side. Both Whitaker and Wonderboy started this, and even fighters that you would never think throw something like this, Charles Oliveira is even doing it. And the kick actually did get blocked, which you have to give Benil credit for being aware of the kick, but the power was too much. Even though he blocked it, the power came all the way through and rattled him. This happened twice in the fight. The first high kick Charles threw was in the beginning of the fight, and this sent Benil flying back. That was crazy to watch. Oliveira may in fact be the most powerful fighter in the lightweight division. I know we talk about Michael Chandler and everything, but after hearing from his opponents, like Justin Gaethje saying he never got hit like Charles Oliveira hit him, even though Gaethje did fight Michael Chandler and didn't say the same for him. He said Oliveira was the hardest hitter he's ever faced, and now seeing the delivery of his blows, even while blocked, sending his opponents flying like this, Oliveira's power is just something out of this world. I don't know where it came from, because he never used to have this before when he was in the featherweight division, but he's all blown up. He has noticeably a lot more muscle on his frame. But after the block head kick, he did pursue Dariush, and that's where Oliveira pursued him with his hands, throwing a range-finding right straight, so he can line up from far range, knowing that Dariush is going to move back from this onslaught, he can leap in there with that signature left hook. And you know how everybody always said that Oliveira doesn't have head moves? Movement, which was true for the majority of his career, but he actually evaded the left hand, not just once, but three times. This was the punch from Dariush that everybody was scared for Oliveira, that big left overhand that he's put down so many fighters with. Notice how Oliveira traps that lead hand, knowing that the only thing that Dariush can throw from the stance is his left hand because his right hand is now trapped, unable to be used. And look at Oliveira as he's aggressive, moving forward, which would put him in harm's way of the left hand. He stops and slips slightly on the outside of the punch. This is something we don't normally see from Oliveira. He was on point tonight. He knew exactly what punch to counter Dariush with because by trapping that lead hand and moving into that direction, he's occupying that space, which is going to force Dariush to naturally want to move out the opposite direction, but that is into Oliveira's right hand. Catches him with the right straight, snaps his head back while still holding on Dariush's lead hand, which again means that the only attack he knows that Dariush is going to be able to use is the left. And just like he slipped on the outside of the previous left, look how he pulls back on this one. Head movement from Charles Oliveira. He did try to counter again just like he did last time with a long right straight, but credit to Dariush for moving back on the punch, pulling on that one himself. But this creates him to get into motion. And if he's going to get in motion, he's only going to move out that same direction. And that's where Oliveira intelligently switches stances after throwing the right. So now he's going to be in southpaw, which is going to get his body closer to Dariush, making it harder for Dariush to evade him. He still tries to get away because he did get stunned. He's trying to get away from the danger that is Charles Oliveira. And with his hands down, he gets cracked by the right hook from Oliveira. And here comes Dariush throwing another left hand, and Oliveira slips that one too, without even trying in the lead hand, slips on the inside of the punch and cracks Dariush with a right overhand and puts him down, but Dariush was not out. More credit we have to give Dariush that is again going to get trumped by Oliveira. He doesn't go flat down to get finished right from there. He drops down into a single leg by getting his head as close to the body of Oliveira as possible while also trying to disrupt his balance. This is to save himself from any kind of punishment and look for an opportunity to take the fight to the ground. But just like throughout the entire fight, Oliveira was one step ahead. Look how Oliveira turns his position to his left side, which is going to redistribute his weight on Benil's left side this time. Before, the weight was in front of him. Now it's on the side of him. Dariush now has no leverage. Genius work from Charles Oliveira. That's why you saw Dariush change directions himself and go into the legs of Oliveira. And he found no one home. Oliveira transitions over Dariush's back. When do you see this kind of stuff, man? Who transitions like this besides Charles Oliveira? Absolute genius grappling work. Getting to the other side and relieving his leg of Dariush's grip. And from this position that he took, he takes the cage away from Dariush as well. 
Oliveira was operating on so many different levels here. Dariush was not ready for it. Then Oliveira goes in for the cross face as Dariush hooks around his leg so he can roll over. This is actually something he was doing against Matush Gamrot in his last fight, but it did not work against Oliveira, showing that there's different levels to this game. Matush Gamrot is not on the level of Oliveira. It could work on that guy, but it's not going to work on this guy. So by holding onto the leg and flipping over, he's trying to push Oliveira away while also attacking the leg for a submission. But instead of going forward, Oliveira actually turns around. He doesn't spin, he doesn't roll, he turns around on all fours, rotating, which is going to allow him to keep his balance at all times. Darius can still potentially attack the leg, but from this position, he's right in the way of ground and pound. Oliveira starts bombing him in the face, and that ends the fight. But when we look at the rest of the fight, the majority of the action was on the ground, and there wasn't too much to really talk about besides Oliveira's defense, actually blocking almost every punch Darius threw at him. He was putting up a block on his right side like he was a boxer. Tight guard defending the punches and actually beating Darius with his elbows. The misconception of just because you're on the bottom you're losing is not true whatsoever. Oliveira was beating Darius while even off his back. He was landing better shots than Darius was and he was the one that pulled guard to get the fight to the ground. He was not taken to the ground and he was not eating big shots either. And he went for that one sweep that only he does. I would love to see more fighters actually go for this because it's so slick. If the opponent stands up because they're getting elbowed in the face from Oliveira and they're trying to escape the submissions, what he's going to do is he's going to grab on that heel right there. And from there, with his foot on the other side, he's going to push on the opponent's leg, disrupting their balance and keeping them a little bit away. And with the left leg, which is on the same side of where he's grabbing the heel, he's going to hook around on the back side of their leg, behind the knee. And by pushing off with that right foot there, he can stretch himself on the side like this and turn his opponent at the same time. Now his left hook here is deep and his right leg is going to be across the body, tripping them over. Look how he was able to do that on Dariush. Dariush falls on top of him. Oliveira does this to opponents to force them back into him. If he could sweep them and get on top, he would absolutely do so, but he wants the opponent in his guard. And ultimately, the best performance of the whole night, the true main event, the fighter everybody came to see, delivered beyond expectations. Charles Oliveira made light work of Benil Dariush, and he has to get that title shot. The rematch with Islam Makhachev has to happen. We were thinking, you know, maybe if it was a back and forth fight with Dariush and he would get to finish late, maybe he wouldn't get the title shot. But the blow through him like this, he more than deserves a rematch with Islam. This is the Oliveira we were waiting to see. Oliveira was even speaking English. I mean, if this guy actually learns English well and he keeps performing like this, he could be a global superstar. The people in the arena were saying that it was deafening in there when Oliveira was fighting. And this is Canada. Crazy to think that it wasn't in Brazil. That's how much everybody loves this guy. It doesn't matter what the country he goes to. As long as it's not enemy territory, the fans are going to show their love for Charles Oliveira. He wasn't at the main event. He wasn't the champion. He wasn't a Canadian. But he was the fighter that everybody in a attendance and at home we're watching for so i hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown and if you did make sure to give this a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video